So I'm trying to film with Pet Alive and these guys, but currently my puppies look like this and I just want to snuggle them instead. Hi, sweet puppies. Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. If you haven't been here before, this is Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is about to turn nine in April, huh? And this is little sleepy Miko and Miko is currently five and those ages will come into play later. But thanks for coming to say hi. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Give it us a big thumbs up and follow those pups on Instagram. But today we're going to be talking all about how to help your pup age with grace. I don't want to think about Tinkerbell as being a senior dog, but because she is about to turn nine, I definitely have to start thinking about that food-wise, supplements-wise, just kind of overall activity level. You girls are not being very peppy for this video. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I've actually teamed up with a company called Pet Alive. I love all of their supplements and we will be getting into that later. But I'm going to give you six tips on how I personally and how you guys can help your pups age with grace. Huh. And keep you healthy and all kinds of good stuff. You guys can't sleep through the whole video. That's just no fun. That's just no fun. It's not. Oh my goodness. It's not. So tip number one is to pay attention to their diet. A lot of people know that you have very specific food per puppies because they need things to help them grow up nice and strong. But on the other way, AK when you get nice and old, you're not quite that old, huh? <laughs> um, it is super important to make sure that they have plenty of healthy fats. It's a high quality diet, all of that. I have lots of videos on here about what I feed my dogs, etc. But it's a super great organic dehydrated food supplemented with kibble depending on what's going on. But you want to make sure that your dogs are super healthy and as they age, their diet ages with them. So before we start talking about these, I am not a vet. Um, and so before you start your pup on any supplemental regimen, anything like that, make sure that you talk to your vet, make sure it's safe for your dog and your lifestyle as well. I have had dogs for over 30 years and I definitely have supplemented with plenty of different things across those years. And so I feel very comfortable with this, but make sure that you talk to your professional before adding to your supplement regime, especially for a little fluffy family. <laughs> Yeah, like you. Tip number two is goes along with diet actually, but it is watching their weight. I have had Samoyeds my entire life, insert a picture of baby Kate with my very first Samoyed. And Samoyeds in particular are prone to diabetes and hip issues. Both of those are exacerbated by being overweight. And especially as your dogs age, dogs in general, um, will tend to be able to put on a little extra weight and that's just not something that you want to deal with. So make sure that as you change their food, you make sure that the ratio of food to dog based on weight and activity level makes sense. And of course, with that, consult your vet because each dog breed is gonna have a little different requirements. They might be prone to different ailments, things like that. So talk to your vet to make sure that you are feeding them the correct food. And then we are coming in to supplements. Now, I have a bunch of supplements here. All of them are from the company Pet Alive who sponsored this video, so thank you guys very much. But all of these are based in herbalism, which I love. My background is in herbalism. You'll see it all over my blog, all over my YouTube. My mom is a naturopathic doctor and a master herbalist, so I kind of grew up in the more hippie, natural, all of that fun world, thus my name, Habits of a Modern Hippie. But 
Herbalism in a dog form is slightly new to me, but it's really fun to kind of learn a little bit more about what happens in the natural pet realm because I know so much about humans and how to deal with it. There's actually a lot of crossover between pet herbalism and human herbalism, which is really fun. So I'm going to talk about two different sets of supplements that I use specifically for Tinkerbell. One is muscle and joint support. So I have two different ones. These are herbal supplements. They're actually veggie capsules. This is called muscle and joint support dash S. And it says on here it supports muscle, joint and bone health and comfort. So as your dog gets older, obviously just like humans get older, muscles and joints don't tend to work as well. So we want to keep those nice and healthy. One of the biggest things that you need that kind of a key word in dog health is glucosamine. Glucosamine is going to be absolutely amazing for your pup's joint health in general. And I'll let you know kind of like the key ingredients in some of these, but if you guys want me to go a little bit more in depth about all the ingredients and herbs and supplements that I think are really wonderful for pets, let me know in the comments down below and I will come up with a blog post and kind of like give you everything. It's hard to kind of spit it at you versus here's the bullet points of what all of these do in a blog post. So this Pet Alive, talking about glucosamine, the glucosamine sulfate, and that is the number one ingredient in here, and that's absolutely amazing. These are actual pills, so if your dog has issues with pills in general, um, that's something to pay attention to, but Tinkerbell loves cheese. So I literally pop these in some cheese. Yeah, you, you know what those smell like, huh? I literally pop those in some cheese and you are good to go. The second is what we call a tincture. Essentially they're liquid drops and tinctures for dogs are not in alcohol like a tincture you'd see in the herbalism world for humans are. This one is muscle and joint support, reduces joint pain and stiffness in cats and dogs. And one of the main ingredients in here is actually one of my favorite ingredients overall for human health as well, and it's Arnica Montana. Arnica Montana helps with lymph drainage, it opens up capillaries. The more circulation in your joints and in muscle pain, um, injuries, things like that, the faster it's going to heal. So that's going to be really good for that. And how you use drops like this, there are going to be quite a few of them in this video, is based on the weight of your dog. So on the Pet Alive website, there will have like a list of dog weights and how much you use. I give Tink about maybe a half-ish a dropper. Um, and you can either put this into water or into their food and it doesn't really taste like anything. Yes, I did try it. <laughs> and so the dogs will love that. Huh is for you. So that is the first half. That is more like a physical aging. But you also have to think about brain health. So as you age, just like things that happen like Alzheimer's, forgetfulness, things like that, that can help in the dogs as well. So Pet Alive has a brain health for senior dogs, and then it also has a brain health booster for senior dogs. These come in like sets, or you can buy them separately. Love the sets. I got two different sets. They're great. One of the main ingredients in here in the Brain Health Senior Dog is Go-To Cola. So Go-To Cola is actually kind of like a superfood. You see it all over health food stores for humans and it works for dogs as well. And essentially what that does is it helps maintain brain health. Essentially keep your brain nice and healthy. It helps with alertness. Um, it helps with memory and recall. And then there's also green tea and nettle in here. And both of those are really great for brain health as well. And then the brain health booster for senior dogs as a supplement to the brain health um, has a few more, especially like FOS. I, I never know if I'm saying that correctly. P-H-O-S. I see it in like herbalism books, but I don't think I've ever said it out loud before. But that's another one that helps with memory and cognitive function. So both of these are really great for your dogs. And once again, they're liquid droppers with a little squeeze bottle on top. So you can just pop it into your dog's food. Okay, number four is keep them active. Generally speaking, especially Samoyeds, they are crazy pants and love to zoom around. However, at the current moment, they're both passed out sleeping. You guys are, you're not helping my cause. <laughs> um, but yes, keep your dogs active. The more active they are in a way that's sustainable for them, like you don't want to bring your senior dog on like a 20 mile hike because 
for an older person that wouldn't make sense and for an older dog that wouldn't make sense but if you keep up and keep them healthy and keep them moving it is really wonderful one of the things that i am totally giving you a permission to get another puppy if you feel ready for one but with older dogs I usually have like a four or five year age gap in between dogs, but growing up, we always had one Samoyed and, <laughs> and your cute butt back here. We had one Samoyed and one Golden Retriever. But as you can see, I have two Samoyeds here, but they are a big age gap. So one of the reasons I always have two dogs is the older one can help train your younger one. And then the younger one help keeps the older one young. Huh? you but yes so having an age gap something like that just puppies keep older dogs young and if you are a one house dog that is totally fine you can definitely bring play and like food puzzles and things like that to keep your older dog entertained but for me I love a puppy so eventually I would love three of you guys yeah number five is dental care is absolutely necessary. I know a lot of people don't even think about brushing their dog's teeth, but you need to, just like in humans, the whole digestive system starts in your mouth, saliva, healthy teeth, all of that is really important to keeping your dog healthy and young. And a lot of dogs are prone to kind of yellowing teeth, they get plaque buildup, all of that not so fun stuff. So brushing your dog's teeth is super important. Um, there are places that you can go like at your vet to get like an actual dental cleaning. We haven't had one of those yet, mainly because in order to most dogs to get their teeth cleaned, um, you have to put them under anesthesia. And I just haven't found the need to do that yet. But if your dog is super particular about having their teeth cleaned, then that is definitely something to look into. I actually have a whole video on kind of brushing their teeth and the toothpaste I make, but there are so many really great options out there for dog toothpaste, dog toothbrushes, all of that. And you wanna make sure you brush your teeth. A lot of vets will actually tell you to brush your dog's teeth every day. I love you guys, but that is not happening. So they do get dental treats and um, marrow bones, which is great for plaque, etc. And I keep very good care of their teeth, but not every day. But talk to your vet and see what is the best for your pup. And last but not least is make sure that you make accommodations for your aging pup. I have a really tall bed. Both of the pups obviously like to be on here. And I know as Tinkerbell gets a little older, hopefully not for years. Yeah, you're not allowed to get old. Whoever decided that dogs' lifespans and humans' lifespans aren't the same is awful. Sorry, you just are. <laughs> universe. But um, as they get older, you want to make sure you have things like orthopedic dog beds, especially if your dog gets arthritis, um, ramps to get up onto beds. You want to keep their life as normal as possible. And in order to do that, you want to make sure that whatever they've been doing when they're younger, they can do when they're older as well. So those are six ways that I am making sure that Tinkerbell ages well and stays healthy as she does. So one, I would love to see pictures of your pups. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're a puppy or getting older because I love that. Um, but if you do post a picture of your pups, tag me on Instagram or tag the fluffs. I am at Mod Hippie Habits and the fluffs are at Tink and Meek. Obviously, Tinkerbell and Miko. I'll pop those up on the screen, so I'd love to see that. But I'd also like to see in the comments, what do you guys do to make sure that you have healthy pups as your pups age? And are you like me and use it as a wonderful excuse to get a second dog? Because yes, please. But yes, pop those down in the comments. Once again, thank you to Pet Alive for sponsoring this video. I will have all of the links to all of the products that I talked about down before. And once again, if you guys want to see that blog post, let me know and that will go up very soon. But Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. I make plenty of pup content and then health and wellness hippie content as well. So I'd love to see you back. Thank you guys. Bye. Can you say goodbye? You don't want to. That was a baby bye. Say goodbye. <laughs> Good girl. Say goodbye. A woo. A woo. Woo. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs>